What's good family? Okay, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to assign hardware controllers and logic. Um, if you have a controller with some knobs on it, you're going to want to put those to use. Um, I have an Alesis V49 that my homeboy was gracious enough to let me hold. Um, this thing is a piece of shit, by the way. Um, I would not spend money on this. Uh, sorry, bro. Don't mean to sound ungrateful. Uh, anyway, I digress. Um, this thing has four knobs on it. Um, let's put them to use. Um, I have a synth part here that I think will sound uh, more interesting if I put some... Uh, you know the tried and true uh, filter sweeps on it so how is that done very easy to do I click on the parameter that I want which in this case is the ESP synth poly synth I click on the frequency knob uh, I hit command L that's command L on your keyboard this window will pop up with the parameter that you just clicked on it will show up in this window here now you just turn the knob slider or whatever the case may be um, on your controller and as you can see the value shows up in this window and that's pretty much it so you close this window and as you can see as I turn my hardware knob it responds here and you can see on my automation window oh by the way to get your automation you just hit A if you didn't know that um, yeah so let's say uh, now as you can see my hardware controller is controlling the frequency so if I want to write that in as an automation to be played back um, I just go in, put this on um, either right or touch mode. I'm going to use right mode. Hit play. So I write my performance. If I like that, I just put it back into read. And play it back uh, that's pretty much how it's done you can just go in and pretty much control any uh, available parameter within logic um, and that's it if you don't know now you know thanks for watching